Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today I'm going to transfer all I know about upgrading tanks and armor. We are going to see how to upgrade individual tanks in the logistics screen, what is the effect of improved conversion 1 and 2, and finally we are going to use that knowledge to explain you a clever production strategy that you will use to overwhelm your enemies. And finally we are going to use that knowledge to explain you a clever production strategy that you will use to overwhelm your enemies. So let's start. You cannot upgrade tanks in your yeah. units. These are your units. If you have tanks on any of these units, you need first to disband the unit. You can only upgrade tanks that are located in your stockpile. By clicking this button up here, you open your stockpile, your logistics screen, and you can find the model you want. Let's say light tank, and here you can see that we have some stock of different models of land tanks. You can even delete forever, remove those stocks files, but there are no benefits for this, just to make things easier to see. If you have some old trash, you can delete it here. The second rule is that you have different chassis. For example, you have light tanks interwar, you have medium tanks interwar, you have basic medium tanks and so on. You can never change from light to medium or from medium to heaven. You can never change from interwar to basic or improved light tanks. So the rule is that they should be the basic same chassis. Always the same chassis, but you can change, for example, if you have anti-tank, you can change it to self-propel, or if you have self-propel, you can change it to standard tank. So, as long as you keep the same chassis, you are free to do whatever you want. So, let's start with an example. We can see here that we have the BT-7 and we have the BT-5 in stock, but the BT-5 is basic like tank, and the BT-7 is improved like tank. So if we go to the production screen and we try to upgrade the stockpile to BT-7, it will not work. It will never work. We can only upgrade design a new model for the BT-5 and we are going to do that just right now. And we are in the design script. We are going to click this button to keep the old design and we want, for example, to add um, heavy machine gun and some small machine guns to give the tank more punch. And we are going to call this BT5 at let's say model B1. And that's it. We are going to save this template and we have the new tank up here BT5 B1. We click there and this tank should be upgraded, but if you click here, you can see that you still cannot upgrade the tank. Why? Because the BT-5 is not the commission. So, despite we have small tanks in stock, we must indicate what tanks are the commission. And let's go back to the stockpile for make things more clear to you, light tanks. And we have two models of tanks in stock. We have the BT-5 and the T26. So let's say that we want to upgrade the BT5, then we go to again to the screen, production screen, we go to the tanks and we search here for the BT5, here it is, and we click this tricky button that is decommission. We are going to decommission the BT5. And now we should be able to upgrade the BT5 and yes, we can upgrade. If we don't use the stockpile, we produce one per month and if we use the resources in stockpile, we are going to be producing four a month. Let's say that you want, you don't want to upgrade the BT-5, you want to upgrade the T-26. So to do that, you need to regain commission of the BT-5 and decommission the T-26. And we are going to do that. We go again to the screen. Here it is. We go to the tanks and we click this button up here, show the commission templates. And we are going to include again the BT-5. Click here and we are going to decommission the T-26, that is this one. So now we are going to be, if we want to upgrade, we are going to be consuming the other tank, the other model. Let's see, we have 87 and here and we see the numbers 
but as you can see the numbers are almost similar and why is that because we are trying to upgrade a completely different tank actually is so different the other tank that we spend more tank time trying to convert the other model to this new tank that is not a very good deal so if you want to convert the t26 is a much better idea to examine what is there and do small modifications you can add for example the model slot here you can change the radio and you can change the gun but if you want to change for example the armor the points here of the armor the speed the type of turret you are going to the wielding those are expensive changes so let's roll back and go back to the bt5 upgrade and as you can see we are saving a lot of money and you can put the mouse over here to see the details and now we are going to see the effect of the technologies remember this number 4.1 and we are going to upgrade the technologies and see the change and with both technologies that are quite easy to get we went from 0.1 a month to 1.3 a week so it's a huge impact and as you can see if we go to basic production we are going to be making 1.4 a month but on the other hand we can do 1.3 a week using the upgrades so how to use this knowledge in your favor for example you are going to start the war in 40 while like for the Soviet Union if you go the classic and you can build useless artillery for that time you have only 36 rifles you have basic artillery but this is going to be just trash for the year 39 and probably they will be just the commission so a big waste of resources 3.5 to the trash but you can instead instead for example build, build this tank the BT-1 improved light tank that you have the technology in 36 as the Soviet Union and you add heavy machine guns light machine guns and for example speed and later in the year 39 it's 8 kilometers per hour you replace the artillery here by the self by the 39 howitzer much more powerful just spending a few coins and you have a very good self propelled artillery for the future let me show you for example medium howitzer medium howitzer and you made this self prepare artillery and you have a damage dealer 48 and you can mass produce these tanks in a very few months just converting the old models that you produce in, in the 36 37 and 38 when you do not have the technologies or for example you can add the the doser blades, doser blades are just you get doser blades in 39 with the engineer and two but as we have seen in the video that is on the description if you are doser blades the self prepared artillery is actually better than the standard artillery you see in enough quantity we made all the calculations in that video why is that? Because the standard artillery increases your damage in a linear way and the self-propelled artillery, by thanks to the entrenchment bonus, it's like exponential. So given the, the bigger the number, the better for the self-propeller and you can make huge defensive divisions and we are going to do that with the Soviet Union combining both of these techniques. We are going to produce a cheap old model with uh, heavy machine guns and all the machine guns like the bt1 and then we when we get these those blades we are going to upgrade all our tanks to that model but i will cover that in more details in the next videos but i want you get to get a glimpse of what you can do upgrading tanks thank you for watching hope you find this information useful and bye bye